Morocco is the universal depository of the argan tree. In recognition of its global benefits as a biodiversity hotspot and a bulwark against desertification, UNESCO had inscribed the argan tree's geographic range among the argan biosphere reserve network since 1998. Indeed, the argan tree is an endemic tree of southwest Morocco, which spans about 850,000 hectares in semi-arid and arid zones and plays a crucial role in maintaining the local social and economic systems. Moreover, this ecosystem biodiversity is underpinned by the existence of the North African subspecies of the Saharan yellow bee, known for its high resilience to climate disruptions. The Inzerki traditional apiary, the world's biggest beehive design collective, is located in the Argana Valley, about 80 kilometers north of Agadir. It is one of the most visited sites on the Honey Route. A master's reflection on the history of humanity, highlighting for several centuries the strong linkage between the argan tree and the associated biodiversity. The forms of spatial organization and arrangement of the local population seem to be driven by the distribution of water sources within existing agroforestry systems. The population living around the apiary is estimated at a few hundred inhabitants, most of whom are beekeepers, improving a solid basis of traditional knowledge. Jamel visits his own apiary. He approaches from the back of the hives and starts puffing smoke slowly in order to calm the bees, after opening the hive. We discover quite calm bees of an orange-yellow color, characteristic of the Moroccan Saharan bee. Bees can travel several miles to deposit their precious forage nectar in the waxy hexagonal cells entirely built by the worker bees. The Saharan bee is a natural heritage that should absolutely be protected. A private apiary was set near the village where beekeepers installed modern movable frame hives surrounded by traditional beehives. In Morocco, beekeeping is supported by the government through the Green Morocco Plan that helped win the Moroccan people's hearts and minds thanks to the respect they have towards bees. The Imuza Honey Festival, celebrated each year in August, is meant to be a local development platform to promote local products. Inzerki is the most favored location for beekeepers transhumans, thanks to the long hours of summer sunshine, the suitable altitude for bees, around a thousand meters, and a relatively temperate climate. The abundance of melliferous plants – thyme, lavender, palms, zucchini and argan trees – and the isolation of this site which enables easy control along with natural vegetation regeneration made of it an exceptional site. It is certainly a genuine and unique local architecture based on mud, wood, palm and braided reeds. The apiary is the property of nearly 250 right holders each possessing an average 15 to 20 traditional hives. At the Inzerki apiary, Brahim Shtui opens a hive to monitor the development stage and the health status of bee colonies. Basically, bees build beeswax comb that are bored into the hive ceiling. Finally, Brahim uses mud to seal the hive entrance with a palm lid. He pierces a hole that becomes the only entrance and exit of the hive, which is easy to defend.
Traditional hives are made of braided reeds in the form of cylinders, sealed with coating of clay or cow dung. Indeed, it is a customary task that enables sustainable beekeeping through reselling the products of their labors in the markets. Their hands are real goldsmith's tools, handling reeds with dexterity. Tourists could visit women's cooperatives to acquire high-quality argan oil and honey. Three kinds of honey are being harvested and used locally. Spring honey such as almond, cactus, orange blossom, date palm and wildflower honey. Summer honey made from thyme and thistle flowers. And fall harvest like euphorbia, eucalyptus and carob tree blossom honey. Amlu a genuine honey-based product enriched with roasted almonds and argan oil. It is deeply rooted in the eating habits of the Sous community and is eaten usually with bread for breakfast or as an afternoon snack. It is processed with a traditional milling system made of two round stones that crush the almonds. The processor can be found in family houses, cooperatives, souks, For dessert, bagrir, a thousand pits pancake, is a durum wheat semolina-based pancake spread with butter and honey. Honey spice cake, they are homemade and can also be found in modern bakeries. Moroccan food is rich in flavor. It is worth tasting across the country. The Circular Economy Project for the Conservation of Agrobiodiversity in the Sous Massa region, implemented by the Agency for the Development of Agriculture with support from the United Nations Development Programme and the Global Environment Facility, as well as other national and international institutions. Demonstration tours are organized to promote responsible tourism in the honey route for sustainable development. Tour operators and national and international press institutions are brought together to attend the event. And particularly in Inzerki, the project is implementing a management plan for the traditional apiary that integrates both natural and cultural capital through the introduction of bee pollination related payments for environmental services. So, the Saharan yellow bee of the Nzerki apiary, thanks to its role in pollination, helps maintain the environment balance around the apiary. It can also be used to pollinate many crops in the Sous Massa, including vegetables and fruit. Bees are extremely important pollinators, be it the honey bee or all the wild bees that we know. An increased understanding of all these and mainstreaming bee pollination issues into the agricultural production systems will ensure higher yields and sufficient and steadier income to support family-based agriculture. But it will also link the agriculture and the environment that had suffered severe degradation from industrial revolution and agricultural expansion. In the Nzerki apiary, it's important to improve management of the local flora and regulate the herds of goats that often eat everything in their path. We also need to better control the uprooting of melliferous species. The Nzerki apiary deserves to be valued by the eco-tourism sector through the creation of theme trails and trekking that could be organized to this historic apiary. Basically, this space might once have looked like how we would imagine paradise. There remains only a fairly small territory 
to prove that we are obliged to preserve nature if we want to continue to benefit from what it can offer us.